Hey, how are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing amazing. We're on Entropy Universe. Obviously, there's a bunch of dropships and such. Actually, I really like these dropships, just for the record. Yeah, okay. So, we're uh, casual kicking butt. Obviously, we've got some stuff being sold. Blueprints and such. Okay. We'll deal with market stuff later on. Um, if you don't know, this is where Boreas is. Boreas is a pretty cool place. It's where you'd come and you'd fight and you'd kill these uh, Kerbibos. Kerbibos are pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys something pretty neat too. This, if you guys don't know, is a super ultra not efficient weapon. I know, you're thinking, what the crap, right? Well, it is. And so, but it's a good ultra, hey, I'm not efficient weapon. We're going to go and we're going to knock out some kills real quick on this. Um, we're not going to be doing a stream craft 12 hour today. Um, in all honesty, that hasn't been going over as well as I thought it would. And uh, it just hasn't gone as well as I thought. And so the 12 hour crafting stream eats up a whole day of mine and has definitely not not went as well as I would have thought. Well, at the same time, I have got a good enough amount of negative feedback on it that I will uh, try to get it more consistently to where when we're crafting, we're crafting with a purpose. And uh, when we're game playing, we're, we're game playing. You know what I'm saying? Outside of that, I hope you guys are just rocking and stuff. And so we will still have gameplay every, uh, let me get this up. Actually, I don't even have my thing up right now. We'll have gameplay, of course, every Wednesday anyway. It just won't be a 12-hour crafting grind semi-AFK. And so. By the way, I'm going to cut my uh, camera parts of our day. Um, just because I have people home today. and Even though I'm on a camera and I stream. Doesn't mean they want to be, you know. And so. like to always make sure we don't be naughty so by the way I am on planet Calypso if you guys need help on something let me know I'm totally okay with coming and helping you all out on whatever you're doing it's an excellent weapon I'm using by the way I made fresh coffee between. It's freaking hot coffee, man. I should be hunting the bigger ones. Real quick, I'm going to kill out my camera. Because I hear people getting around and stuff, and I want to make sure to take that into account. We're going to be getting some uh, obvious some globals today at some point. I don't know at what point, but, but they will happen. Click this in. Oh, it's super hot though. Well, uh, I also want to make sure supporting some other people at the same time.
click this over here too, so we're a little less on people's conversations and stuff. I'm also going to pull up our Kerbibos thing. See what y'all guys we want want to codex today. Got to find a good place for hunting those guys. I know where to go kill these guys. So we're going to take all those codexes today. Maybe more even. Except I don't even know where some of these guys are. I mean, I'd have to remember. Jeez, there's a lot of mobs in this game. I always forget how many mobs there really are. It's a lot. What is the event mobs? Honestly, like I, I didn't look into the event you guys let's check out this event too. I Should probably check out everything Is there a specific event mob let me I'll google this real quick Entropia universe event mob you know what? They always don't understand what you're saying. Oh, I would totally go kill them. I don't know anything about them, actually. Where are they? Where's the event? We can go do the event. I like events. I'll throw fireballs at robots all day. By the way, thank you for telling me about it. Hold on one second. We will be going to the event. I did want to uh, do some uh, killing of these guys, but you know what? If there's an event, I would rather do an event. Okay, let me find out where the event is. This guy's chasing me. Hold on. I'm gonna kill him. We're kind of trying to tear this up to a higher tier. A pretty good tier. Like three or so. Then I'll probably put it in my shop. Oh, I apologize. Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to the news post thing. I'll kill this guy first. And then we're heading to go kill robots. I love killing robots. And so if they've got an event and there's robots, we're on it. But eventually we have to get through this stuff. And my coffee needs to drop like two degrees, maybe. Maybe not, but like two degrees would be nice. This pistol takes a long time to kill things. We'll, we'll not use this pistol on the robots, guys.
Wow, it took way too long. Okay, I'm gonna get up here where these guys are sweating and stuff. And then we'll look up at where, where we're going. Okay, so Atlas Haven, Camp Icarus, Camp blah, blah, blah. Minopolis. I don't, I don't know where Min Minopolis is. There's an image that didn't pop up. Jason Center. So basically everywhere. There's robots everywhere. Okay. I like that. I like robots being everywhere. Yeah, I'm on my way over to the robots right now. I didn't know that there was specific robots for the event. But I like event robots. I like events. I really want one of these. Seriously, I don't even know why I think I need one of these drop ships. But do you guys feel me on that a little bit? Okay, robots. They said camp. All those camps, though, right? Didn't they just say? And Jason Center? Let's see what's at Jason Center. They, they listed a whole bunch of places. So obviously there's robots all over. There's a dead dude out here. So what they put here. What the crap are you? Hey, hey, whoa. Hey, defensive gun. What the crap? Okay, well I can tell you that these guys are right here. And this, his laser is vastly better than what I would have thought. Hold on one second. Let's get out of here before we get zapped down by Mr. Bob there. He definitely wants to shoot us. Okay, so there's a still freaking killer machine drone here. Hold on. Okay, I don't fight those very often. I've never even seen those before. Still birds. Get our position real quick. Yeah, don't don't just go in there. I didn't I'm obviously not oh I'm not even wearing armor. What am I? Or am I? Oh, oh, somebody got killed here. Look at this, guys. This is a sign of death. See that? And that sucked. I don't even know what that was like, but that is a bunch of these dudes in a single little pile. And once they're in a pile like that... Yeah, that guy definitely had a bad day. Well, land here. What the crap is over here? Hold on, guys. I'm checking out this wood. Oh, yeah. It looks like Camp Phoenix. Okay. Yeah, I've never killed us. I'll head to Camp Phoenix. Kind of curious about this. Is this forest harvestable, guys? Does this look like a really good harvesting forest? And nothing's harvestable. How sad. These guys are all providers and stuff. It's a good hunting area, guys. Okay. He's after us. Hold on. I switched armor on. Oh. 
Okay, we're gonna go to Camp Phoenix. Ready? I'm gonna teleport us into that one spot. But I'll drop us right on it. I won't even mess around. Well, that's frick hot. I really like hot coffee, but I like it like slightly a couple degrees hot, like lower than it is right this second. But it'll get there. It's just still drinkable, but with the exception of knowing how that hurts. Okay, we're at Camp Phoenix now. Well, that made me a little nervous. No, I it normally warps way faster than that crap. Oh yeah, this is where everybody's popular in. Oh, let's see. Are we even in the right kind of what? What is going on? We've got thirteenth level drones. I'm kind of shocked that they put this stuff right on the teleporter, though. Hold on, let me heal myself and kill this guy. Wait, wait, little thing. Okay, drone coordinator. Like this. Hold on. What are we hearing over here? Oh, this is just like a shooting gallery. I get it. I don't like the angle I'm at at all. We we'll have to add these robots in here. Oh, well, thank you. I hope if you're out here, you're getting lucky, too. What is this, attacker? I think we need to have him up. I should pay attention. Oh, that's only a fourth. Let's get that 16. Oh, yeah, this is looking fun. Okay. Thank you for telling me about this. I didn't even know. I'm like, what, what do we get? Is this the event where you get the one coins where you have a share in the profits or something like that? Because I like that stuff. I'm for anything where I get part of the profits. I know you all are for that kind of stuff too, but... I'm going to just focus on getting that 16. Oh, let's get around here. Let's get over here. Maybe these 20... Want to try a 22? Let's try this guy. Probably gonna hurt hard. Hold on one second. I don't feel we're set up exactly. Oh! Okay, good to know. I, th I wasn't sure how this was working. I just know that we do want some of those. Like. Let 
this still bird at 22nd level, it's not efficient. We're having to do too much stuff to... Yeah, that was a bad one. Let's not grab the 22s. They're at the wrong range. Had to heal myself way too much there. So that's not the right zone. Let's go over here and get a better angle. See if we can get these guys from over here. Oh yeah, I like this mob. This is, this is absolutely one. Oh, well, I hope they do. Because I like selling stuff, too. Uh, for about two seconds, I wasn't sure what was coming in on us. And then I'm like, oh, that's a slip near. I really like those. I know a lot of people talk crap about the mighty slip near. Super good vehicle. We're just kicking the crap out of the little baby ones of these guys. I'm not sure what we get from a robot safety system. It's a good vehicle. You get to customize it and stuff like that. You can put missile launchers on it. It's super fun. People just don't know how to have fun with it. I'm going to tell you what. If you're just trying to PK people too, guys. It's the easiest one to PK a dude with. I'm just going to let you know. I mean, I'm not trying to... I mean, like if I had a tank, it would be awesome. But... Out of the normal vehicles that are easier to get, it's absolutely lethal. I'll kill somebody with one today. I know you guys are like, well, that's a horrible thing to do. But we'll do it nicely. I mean, we won't be like, oh, we're just being a jerk. I'll offer up a, a hey, thank you for letting us kill you a reward or something. Are these guys not spawning fast enough now? You guys, this is good loot. I have one. I have an awesome slip near. I might make another. Mine's all fancified. I have a problem with my slip near. I'm like, I think they're a great vehicle. Yeah, they're a little slow getting across space. But honestly, how often are most people even going across space? And if you're going with anything, you're not taking a slip near, I hope. Just because that's a bad idea. Nobody should be flying around with stuff in a slip near, guys. Not a good idea. Like, that is like the, the, the dream target for most uh, people that would want to target some. Is a dude flying planet to planet with stuff in a slip near. It's true. Ah, oh, there it is. 
I don't even know how we got two, two. Oh, it's the tribute. I thought we got two of something else, guys. I'm like, did they just double give us this? This is a small amount, huh? Okay, we're gonna go with dexterity still. Crap, Ola. We're so close to, uh, the intelligence I want. And I like getting the stamina, so I'm not, like, talking crap about that stamina we just got. But I really want to get to 100 intelligence, you guys. I think I like this mob. Is this an event only mob or is this mob going to be around afterwards? Because I would probably hunt the crap out of this mob. Look at how fast we're going up the thing too. watch. I'm going to probably have to go get a new fireball chip. Uh, check this guy. Make sure he doesn't need healed. I like to make sure people don't die. Well, that's on him. That This guy might kill him while I'm killing that. Who knows, guys. Oh yeah, we're codexing so easy on this. I'm gonna have to say this, dude. Yeah, I like this mob, guys. This is... Um... Well, they should make this a, a, a just all the time mob. I like this mob. It should be put on Sirene too. So that this could be added to the, the random robots we get to hunt while we're there. I, I Like, this is a good mob. Little spaceship mob. They should make these where you can engage them from a vehicle though. What is this guy doing? 
Some guy dragged a still bird here. Yeah, this is good. Kilman, I hope you're doing good too. I don't know if you're you're at this event thing, but they got little baby spaceships floating right there. That's kind of way cool, actually. Yeah, these are cool. They need vehicle mobs like this though, guys. Ones that I could be flying in my quad wing or in a slip deer and engage in the sky and would engage you back. They absolutely are lacking vehicle to vehicle combat mobs. And this, this little guy right here, he could help. Put a bunch of those up in the sky with way high and let people quad wing hunt them. And slip near hunt him. Oh, this guy's trying to sneak up on us. This is some naughty hunting right here. So I I don't know how often they do this event specifically, but I like it. Tons of robots. Oh, come on. Yeah, they need to put these up in the air and make them engageable by vehicle. This is the perfect kind of mob for, for vehicle to vehicle stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to have to check out everything. I didn't realize. I saw people uh, the other day hunting big ol' uh... Oh, crap. What, what did I do? Hold on, I broke my mind force thing. I'm gonna have to finish this guy out with a gun. Okay. I'm gonna have to be right back on this. Is this building a legit building? Oh, there's dudes with missions. Ah, holy crap, guys. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's look at this. Still going to go with dexterity again. What do you got as a mission? Uh, we'll take this, but honestly, it's not what we're doing today. These are kind of lower level people missions, I think.
We'll do that later on. That's not, not today, guys. That's... Okay. All right, it's the fancy stuff on today. I'm going to have to find an auction house because we just depleted out our mine chip. That's so I got to go grab a new mine chip, which is okay. We just loaded the crap um, out of the um, auction house when I landed, guys. Like, I've got so... Oh, thank you. I, I, I already went. I, I should have checked the top level. But when I landed, I loaded the crap out of... Because you know how we, we build up all those blueprints when we're off planet. And then we load them all up into a giant, holy crap amount of blueprints. In fact, so many blueprints that we are not able to actually load them all. And so we have to wait till some soul um, to be able to do anything, basically. It's tragic. But here's where we're at on stuff right now. Pages and pages of blueprints. Oh, see, we could add more stuff now. We've sold some stuff, obviously. And we've got bids on things and stuff like that. But that's part of the method. I know you guys are like, WTF, why? Uh, everybody has their own thing, right? I like selling blueprints and crafting blueprints. I think it's fun. Okay, let's look at this. We need a combustive chip that's big. There's a seven right there. Okay, so there's a seven. That's big enough. Pretty sure we're going with that combustive seven, you guys. Just do this. Oh, see, yeah. Uh... I'm kind of feeling this. But these people, they're bidding on it. I'm going to just buy it straight out. I know what they thought. I mean, like, I, I get bidding on stuff if you think that there's a chance in heck that that's going to work out for you, but it, it does, you know. But I'm going to go directly to, hey, I really need that freaking thing. I'd like to kill some dudes. And so... Okay, now we're about to drop frickin' bombs, guys. I don't even know what we're dropping. Bombs, though. Okay, let's dump some of this stuff. Just burnt that out, right? Yep. A lot of upgrade stuff. Some good robot parts, though. Okay, back to our goal. Now, now, now we're ready to do some hardcore... Zip it is happen. Was that Camp Phoenix? I think so. Oh, yeah, for sure.
He's kind of just in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Now we're ready again, you guys. You know what, though? Because we're using such high-powered stuff, let's get the skills for this, too. Get rid of this stuff real quick. This is going okay. I mean, we haven't got a spirally yet, but... But I really like this mob. And I want them to make it a permanent mob. Uh, I haven't scanned them yet, but in all honesty, they're gonna give me robot skills. Pretty sure that these guys are robots. Let's look though real quick. Let's come up here. These look like robots. Yep, scan robot. We'll get robotology on them. If we kept at it. Let's take out these 16th level ones. They, those look like the better. Zone for stuff. So yeah, they're robots. That's good. Honestly, as long as they're not mutants, we're okay. I just, my mutant hunting is, is not the same. Ooh, that was not bad. Oh. Oh, I think I got a hit. But I, I'm not really sure. I wasn't paying attention earlier all the way. I mean, I kind of was, but... Guys, robot heat sinks we use for some weapon. These are good robot components. These aren't like crap components. They're not ones that have a high markup because not a lot of people make the stuff that these go into. But most of these little robot parts that they're dropping and stuff like that, these are all legit robot parts. This guy's just in the way. Yeah, this is a good hunt, you guys. This, this should be a permanent mob. Got him. I'm in the hill real quick. I 
I like this 16th level, 18th level zone. It looks perfect for us. Small amount of damage. Overall, it looks like... Ooh, 22nd level. See, I'm not liking those, though. Try to find the sweet spot. These, these, these guys are up at the sweet spot zone. Are we all shooting at that poor guy? Well, congrats to them. Oh, I say congrats, actually. And take my caps lock off. Oh, I wonder if he means 13 globals today. And we've got another cell, see? That's what we had to wait for. I thought it was locked onto this guy somehow, and then all of a sudden... There. Oh, I hit a button. I was like, what the crap happened? Six. So now we're starting to sell stuff. People must have woke up. Started checking out the auction house. I'll have to go and make stuff if it's the wrong stuff that just sold. We brought back a bunch of materials, too. I had to actually call a mothership. Not a mothership. Technically, I flew back in, I think, a privateer last night. That was a good trip. Got a lot of visiting in. Man, these guys are knocking the crap out of me a little bit sometimes. I don't know if that's one landed behind me. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. We need those heat sinks. I'll have to remember what I used those for. Yeah, I like this mob, you guys. This is a good mob. Fan of all robot mobs. They can add more robot mobs any day of the week. What are we getting for each kill? I'm definitely gonna have to heal myself here.
Yeah, this is going super smooth. I'm glad you told me about. Thank you very much, EPK man. I I didn't even think about this. And this is absolutely, definitely how I'd rather be spending the morning. I mean, we can knock out those other guys too sometime. Collect that easy attribute point right there. But man, yeah, this is good. What is this event called? Just we, we hit 20 years of, of being a game event? I mean, which, by the way, I'm super excited about the 20th year anniversary of this game. This is literally the funnest game. I mean, I know a lot of people think of other games. This game is long-term as heck and stays being fun years in. I've been playing since 2015 at least. And still think, dang, this is a good game. And I'm going to tell you, I have went through a lot of other games that did not make that same mark at all. This is good components, guys. Great components. I'm gonna get that 25th or 22. Good. They should do this every year. I really like this event. But do you guys see what I mean on these should be vehicle targetable mobs? We need to have some mobs up in the air that we can engage with our vehicles. Oh, we don't want to summon. We don't want to summon right now. How long is this event? I'm gonna have to look into this. So we're definitely on this planet till this event's done, you guys. Um, which is okay, cause I, I can take care of a bunch of stuff over here. Wait, who's who, who's who's saying that? Are they on a team? Oh, well, I don't know if they're on a team. I'm not sure what he meant. He said, come join us. And I'm, I think that they should have mobs on every planet for vehicle combat. 
and increase the amount in space. Like straight up, you, there are tons of actual weapons for vehicles and nobody uses them. Like I use them to PK people once in a while, but outside of that, nothing really. And it's kind of sad. Oh, that was 10 heat. I'm going to look up what I use heat seeks for you guys. Do you guys know that there's a patrol boat in this game? And there's a tank? That's right. There's a freaking tank. There should be some tank mobs to kill. It would be super nice for the vehicle crafters. Because then you would be able to like be like, hey, there's an actual purpose to having vehicles and vehicle weapons. Because you'd be like, hey, I'm going to run the something gauntlet, take out the whatever. I mean, hunting dropships in space is cool too. So I'm not trying to bash dropship hunting. It's way cool. Oh, so I want the patrol boat. Legit. And there's a chance that if I had the patrol boat, I would set off coast in a PvP zone and just take dudes down on the shore. I'm just, I'm not trying to be mean, but honestly, killing people in this game is a little bit of fun. Um, oh, if you get the blueprint or you see the blueprint over, you let me know. I'll, 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 we'll make it. That's my problem is I haven't ever got the blueprint for the tank or the patrol boat or a few other things that I want. I know, am I just running around randomly? I'll tell you what, the effectiveness of vehicle weapons is, is pretty impressive actually. We'll kill somebody in a minute. Hold on one second. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna walk off for a second with that global in hand. We're coming back, guys. Obviously, we have as much ammo as we started with, pretty much. I mean, we're down a little bit, and we still have a bunch of stuff. So, you know, like, that'll work out. So, let me look at where we're going. We're going to... Camp Icarus. So, this will only take a second, don't worry. I'm probably going to end up buying, honestly, some explosive projectile rounds for this. Even though I craft them all the time. We'll look. We'll, we'll check. I don't want to commit to that. There's an auction dude upstairs. Okay, we are going to buy some. They're, they're cheap enough and I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to buy a bunch like that. I only need some Pizan amount. Because we're literally going to go drop somebody. Uh, holy crap, this is why we end up crafting everything, guys. Okay. I'm unable to pay the price markup that they want it invoked there. I can't do that. So what we'll do is we'll make this happen real quick. Then we'll I'll show you guys somebody dying. It's pretty fast. Okay, we go to Athena Spaceport. That's where I'm going to be always. So if I'm on Cyrene, I'm going to be at that basic supply depot. Or I'm going to be sweating weeds. On this planet, 90% chance that I'm right here. Crafting. All day. Every freaking day. I mean, I do gameplay too and stuff like that. But, but honestly, off stream, we're mostly crafting right here. 
in which normally there's people here, you guys, just so you know. Oh, yeah, like that guy. Hotsy Pops is usually here, too. <coughs> Don't know where she is. We only need about 10 pad. It won't cost us 10 pad to kill somebody. I'm just getting 10 pad worth because I know that's enough that we definitely have a couple shots in there. I think I put too much of my fuel in one vehicle too. Break up the fuel. I'm on South Cali right now. Just so you guys know, I am on Calypso right now. For the purposes of kicking butt and taking names for the week or something like that. We're going to drop that much in that vehicle. And so, yeah, if you guys want to use points or random things, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, absolutely I do. Hold on one second. We're, we're redistributing fuel for uh, because I kind of threw it all in one thing real quick because I buy in bulk. It's a big thing. Uh, you guys want to buy in bulk. Where are you at? We're just getting enough ammunition real quick to uh, what you call it to kill somebody. I was trying to think of how to say it, and, and there was no, like, this is the best, nicest way to say it. We're going to kill somebody, guys. But we're going to be nice about it. I'm not going to just kill a random. Oh, well, you're welcome to come to me. I could probably come there, too. I could tell you also where we're going if you want to want to be involved in the murder of somebody. Or... Maybe we just kill one of my vehicles. And we don't have to kill somebody. I don't know. We'll kill one of my vehicles. I'll show you guys how you could make a kill with a vehicle. And why they need vehicle weapons combat. So badly. If we do happen to see somebody. We might make a kill on them. It, it is going to be a murder. And on, honestly guys. I'm going to tell you on Rocktopia. It is much easier much easier in fact let me look at this you guys might not know about this where, where are your your one awards well there's an award list that I'll have to find somewhere but I have a lot of people kills I don't kill people on a lot now, but at one point I racked a, a few kills up a lot. Um, and so this game absolutely does have a fun PvP aspect that people don't get into enough. Just going to tell you, it's absolutely ridiculous. And it's one of the reasons why I like the slip near so much, you guys. There should be a slip near combat league in this game. Or ground combat, I don't even care. Any kind of combat people want to do. I'll show you some of the vehicle weapons first, and then we're going to go make a kill. By the way, I'm at, um, I'm going to be headed over to Icarus, likely, to make the kill. Camp Icarus. Because then we'll go to the uh, oil field. It's a PvP zone, technically. That's plenty. Here, just watch this. So we go to weapons. <coughs> I have a lot of weapons. And so we're going to have to go through here. Um, none of these are vehicle weapons right through here. These are all uh, normal weapons. Uh, right here you get to... This is a... Hold on one second.
Okay, so this is a a uh, multi-lock rocket launcher system. This is the one your door gunner uses, funny enough. And they're excellent. They'll kill you. I'll show you this. Let's pop this data up so you guys can see what's going on here. Uh, I don't get a lot of orders for these, and you would think I would, because look at the damage range on them. You've got reasonable long range for travel. It has a good impact burst radius. Time fuse is okay, blah, blah, blah. That's a door gunner weapon. This is the pods for underneath a VTOL. And these, somewhere are the pods for underneath a helicopter. Yeah, well, I have them on my helicopter. We'll see them soon enough. The Ichi in here is one of the deadlier ones for the back of vehicles or for a door gunner. Here, this is Ichi. This thing, you're able to actually put a scope on it and all the stuff like it's a normal gun. It can only be used by a door gunner and a few other things, but it's able to be used in this actual vehicle which is insane. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here. So that gun is the one that locks in right here. Just so you guys know. Okay. So let's go kill somebody, but politely. Well, I'm going to make sure I have some kind of thing. Okay, good. We also have a porcupine beneath the helicopter's thing. It allows you to target dudes, too. There will be a slight difference in the, hey, let's kill these people. It's not a massive difference. The helicopter actually has more powerful, longer-range missiles. But they're not as good because of... Um, basically, because you can target so much better in a slip near. If you want to kill a dude in a slip near, guys, it's ridiculous range out. Like, they might not even see you coming. Just going to say that. Let me see. Also, I'm not sure what your username is. But I am, I am at this place right now. Let's see what this is. There's a lot of people here today. Guys, you see all these green dots everywhere? I'll just say hi. There's a lot of green dots. Okay, anybody want to come commit a murder? If you're at this place, you can. I'll show you how it works with this. Hey, hey Sam, how you doing? Uh, let's let's let Sam be in, in invited. Submit change. Obviously, a few people have helped me commit murder before, right? Okay, we make sure we got everybody in. We target track. Now here's the difference. We fly up like this. See that tracking right down there? How we're actually tracking, that is a targeting tracking dot. Whatever I aim at, that will actually hit. So when we get in here, our ability and our range with these missiles is absolutely insane. Oh no, it's an absolutely healthy population. I'm excited. Every time I come back here and see all those people here, it legit makes me excited. Like, because you know that there's a growing curve up future in this game. Because, yeah, I get 80% of the people right there won't be here next year. But 20% of them will. And that that absolutely is impressive growth. I'm going to probably have to throw a vehicle out here so we can target run it. Um, it's not a big deal. If there is a dude out here, I will kill him. But we will then be nice to him and give him some. You know, because I don't just kill everybody. Because that's not nice. Basically, that's the only reason to. I mean, like... And because you don't get XP for popping people. It does keep track of it, though, you guys. 
I figured it was you. Either that or I had kidnapped some random player. Which, by the way... Oh. Okay, so see how we have a green dot even though we're in PvP, right? But we're up in the air and not on the ground. So we actually can see him anyway. So I'm going to zone in. We're going to start moving towards the target. He's beneath us. I'm going to scoop to the side. Because we, we have to see him still to target him. And I'm going to see who it is. I probably should let him know what's going on so they don't just think this, this jerk. I think he might be making a run for it, though. Oh, he's right down there. So see how we're way up here for him? Oh, there's multiple dudes in here. Okay, I'm waiting a second. So see how I've got him right over there? One, two. Okay, he's down, just like that. I'm going to message him right now and let him know I'm sorry for not warning him, though. Hold on one second. I got to get down and message that guy because he's going to wonder what happened. He's not going to understand. And so I was just showing you guys we're going to on our next run, we'll take a run on a, a vehicle. So I don't. Okay. We're going to wait for that dude to get back here. And then we're going to give him 10 pad in shrapnel. As a consolation for me killing him. It wasn't a brutal killing. But let's be honest. Nobody wants to be hunting. And all of a sudden get a missile struck. Right? So here's how I'm going to show you guys how this works. When he gets here, we'll give him 10 pet in ammo. We're going to spawn this right here. Hold on, let me... Okay, so when he gets here, I'm, I'm going to give him 10 pet in ammo. I'm just waiting for this guy to be here. And he's not armed. We're not going to target him. But we could take him out of the sky. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so 10 pad, random dude. Then I'm going to show you the difference in why I like... Oh, yeah, boom. I have to click that one too. I always forget there's two clicky clicks. You have to take it, guy. I promise. We're just waiting on... Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's the difference. We're going to now pop a combat helicopter. As soon as I figure out where I put it. Oh yeah, right here. Okay. So this helicopter, you're going to want to in invite onto this too, guy. I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, so this, the targeting system is different. We're going to do an attack run on those two vehicles. Those guys are going to want to be moved a little bit, but it's okay. C, 
see those hits? But you see how it's a fixed, let's move this out of the way. It's a fixed targeting system. So we have to actually go in for the hit. Now you get a better angle when you do a turnaround like that. A sharp turn will always drop you down. But see how we lift it up there? You have to bring this baby in on something. Now here's the good thing though. See how we have that forward Gatlin gun right there? If we have a co-pilot, we can forward Gatlin gun it pretty easy. Now, this thing though is oh, that I don't want to hit Sam there. We'll just land. Go up just slightly. Oh. I was a little bit off on my shooting there. Ooh. Guys, we're doing horrible. We're too close. Too close. Too close. But you see why I don't like this gun as much as the actual other gun? Oh, we're caught in a... See, that's what happens when you're not paying attention to what's going on. But this weapon system is good. It's not bad, you know. But you actually have to target onto something in which the other weapon system, we can just literally aim at stuff. Oh, wait, we're not trying to do that. We're trying to do this. Boom, boom. And with, that's the only big difference. I'm going to repair all these vehicles real quick. Hold on one second. Grab this baby up. But basically, you can leave vehicles just trashed all over the place. If you spot a dude flying over here, flying through here, or anything, you can just be like, shoo, shoo, shoo. but you can see how the slip near was vastly superior. Like, there's not even a question on which vehicle was like, hey, this is the better missile system. Because this one literally aims directly at a dude. You can be like... Oh, let me kill you. In which the other system does not. Did we did we get everybody? Hold on. Oh yeah, we did. Okay. Awesomeness. By the way, we can put a gun on this other side too. I just haven't got the gun for my co pilot yet. When I figure out which gun it is, I'm putting another gun on this for a co pilot. I just, I don't know which one it is yet, guys. That, that's the only thing. I will find it, though. We'll fully arm a slip near eventually. It just, it's a, a work in progress. So, honestly, it's also really easy if you're just trying to get a kill. To get, oh, we got a PM. Oh. Oh, it's that PM. Holy crap, I was so confused about where that came from. Do you guys ever have that kind of day? It might be. And so, I'm going to look into it. I make a bunch of vehicle guns, and I get a bunch of vehicle guns all the time. So, eventually, I'll have it, no matter what. Like that, that's, that's a guarantee. And so, but you guys can see when a missile comes down and it knocks you for 80 something to 100 something damage immediately. And I can get three missiles off before the first one even hits the ground. These things are super deadly. Like they're not used like that. People don't realize how deadly the little slip near is. But this thing is a killing machine because... Little dudes are down there. The range on this is like crazy range. And I'll, I'll check the range so you guys will know the range. It, it's good enough that they're not seeing it coming most of the time. It's just like, shoop, boom. In which I get that that's not very brave to kill people with a missile strike from like way up in the air. But here's the reality of it is... Um, that's not the point. Like you're not that you're not trying to be brave. You're 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 missile striking somebody. Like 
it has nothing to do with that kind of stuff. It has to do with like just venting. So 62 to 124 damage. So you don't use, oh, and look at this range, 302 meters. So literally most dudes can't even shoot you from that distance. Literally 302 meters is so far out of, oh, let me grab it for you. Let me make sure I have one on me. And if I don't have one on me, we'll either make one or here, come with me real quick. Because we can either make one or um, I can grab one out of my shop. This will only take a second. Do they have a crafty guy up here? No. What the crap? Let me see if I have one. Let me check if I have a good one first. Um, weapons. Let me make you one, man. Well, let me go to the like, little crafty place. If there's a crafty place down here, we'll use it. No, of course not. Why are there no crafty places? This is a new people zone. Okay. Do you know where Athena Spaceport is? That's where we're going. Guys, we're at 240 ped. What the crap sold? Amplifier. See these? Guys, this is just blueprints. Absolutely worth it to sell those. Okay. I will be right back then. This will only take me one second. You, let me show you where it is real quick. It's right here. Do you have one close to it so I can get you this? Do you have this or this or this or even this one? I could get you there. Okay, well, I'm willing to help get you guys get this kind of stuff. I don't have, um, what do you call that? I don't have a um, wormhole chip. I'm going to get a wormhole chip. And then I'm going to be able to wormhole people places. And so that'll be good. It's okay. I either have the stuff to make one on this planet or have extra of those guns always up in uh, Crystal Palace. I keep a, a stockpile there. But I would bet that I have the stuff for making them on me right here. What the crap, guys? Hold on. What are we missing? This is going to be a have to go to Crystal Palace thing, and it's going to frustrate me. Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to be right back. I have a good one on Crystal Palace for sure. Let me double check this crap. I normally keep an, a spare one on me that's not like a super high tier one. Okay, this is going to take 10 seconds, guys. Soon as I hit these guys, I'm in space. Crystal Palace is right here, so this will be faster than you guys think. Pretty sure I have a, a actual like good tier one right up here on Crystal Palace. Obviously, I need to go get more supplies off of. See that? Guys, you always look for those red dots like that. I'm a red dot to people too, so just because they have a red dot doesn't mean they're a pirate necessarily. But if you see a red dot, it does mean they're freaking armed. For sure. That's what that means. And they could kill you. 
So pay attention in space. Don't just be flying willy-nilly everywhere you think you need to go. This is also why I like Crystal Palace. Just saying, Crystal Palace is an amazing place, you guys. Oh, that was horrible driving. That's, you guys, my space license will be took away. Okay, this is what we do. I'm going to grab more supplies, of course. Okay. Crystal Palace. Station. I really like this place. You have to be a little bit broodier to hunt here, though. But the shopping here is amazing. I'm going to show you guys. This is a great place to shop. There's always really good stuff, like that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. See how I have one built up already? And it's at 120. That's because I plan ahead and we keep stuff up here. I also keep some of this other stuff here that I don't want to show you guys necessarily, but we're going to slip one out real quick. Uh, you know what? It's a proud to PK. What did I just grab? Let me look. Okay, global hat. Just checking. I have a bunch of other weird stuff up here too. Not just that stuff, but I don't remember where we put the stuff. Like that stuff. So I'll show you our shop real quick before I fly back down. I'm about to be right back down with that gun for you. Don't worry. And then I'm going to be having to go back to Cyrene and, and hunt for more targeting chips. I didn't really. So this is this is Calypso, I mean, our Crystal Palace shop. This is where you can come and you can get a lot of your, hey, I want to kill people needs. Absolutely a great place for guns, random stuff. Weapons of all kinds that you think you might need. See, there's a black cool or a bakia cool. All kinds of, hey, I want to destroy some crap. Like everything you guys can imagine. Good stuff. Some of the booths are empty. If you want to get into business, this is a great place to do it. If you're just looking for an exotic weapon, this is a good place to go. Okay. Exotic weapons, exotic stuff. Armors, such things. It's a good place. There's also hunting, guys. You can hunt here. You can also invest in Crystal Palace. Yeah, it's an amazing place like that. Okay, now we go back up into space. I'm not going to teleport down because I feel that the it's wasteful. It's literally the only reason to. Like... If I was super annoyed or had a headache and was like wanting to get off the the game real quick, then I might would be like, hey, I'm going to teleport. But short of, of that, paying like that money to just fly down seems wasteful. Okay, I got to restock though. So everybody know that well, I'm going to be back on Cyrene. In a day or so, for sure. In an episode called Restocking. I try to keep a healthy stock of the stuff you guys need. Because... Hold on, let me pull up. Um, that's not the right planet right there, guys. Okay, we're on our way back in. That's always super exciting. And it's a little bit, it's not lootable, they're just talking smack. Space is lootable. 
So I'm not trying to confuse you guys. This section I'm in is near the lootable space, not in lootable space. It is PvP space, though. So I could get shot down, but I cannot get looted where I currently am. If I flew over a little bit, I would be in lootable space, though. And then, if somebody pops me, I am freaking popped. That guy really didn't know why we had zapped him. I didn't. I don't like zapping people that don't know what's happening, because I've been a new player before. I never got airstruck, guys. Honestly, that just never happened to me. And I even have friends that are pretty aggressive that I've given missile systems to before because they wanted to get one, and I kind of expected one of them to catch me off the blue with a missile strike. It hasn't happened. Although you do give people skills when you missile strike them. Like that's that's a straight up like. They like when those missiles hit you, you are getting skills. It's a good thing. It just sucks when you're in the middle of doing something and all of a sudden you're like shaboom shaboom. And that guy we hit, he was dead on the first missile. That second one that hit was just landing for no reason honestly but you never know I've had a dude take three or four missiles one time one a guy that I had already told hey we're gonna hit you um, and he agreed to it I honestly was shocked I like strung off the first two and watched them hit and he wasn't down and I dropped another and he ate it too and then the Last missile hit, and I think it barely killed him. And I was like, oh, dude has some freaking durability on him. Because he wasn't, like, in special, like, super cool armor or something like that. And uh, he ate the missile hits. Like, just like they were nothing. And so I was like, oh, that's impressive. Straight up impressive. When somebody can just boom, 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 pew, and you're, like, still standing... You're a freaking beast, guys. Like, that's a for sure. Okay, we're back. Hold on. Scrolling up through this so I can find. Oh, there he is. I was thinking if I there was some trigger button where I could click find Sam. But it makes sense that we can't just find Sam with a find Sam trigger button. Let's hook Sam up. Boom. Okay, so we've got one little zip -a zapper. These are fun as heck if you guys have never used them before. They are absolutely a blast. Look at through this stuff. Get him hooked up. Did that go through? I, I gotta make sure. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're going to go back and we're going to kill some stuff for a second. And we're going to hope that Sam kicks some butt. That's fine. Where were we just at, guys? Camp Phoenix. We're killing those robots. I'm going to kill a few more of those robots. It looks like this auction crap. I'm going to have to deal with auction. We're either getting a whole bunch of bids or some crap. We've sold some stuff. We've Passed through a whole bunch of land areas is what happened. Who's this? 
By the way, lately I've even seen some dudes I hadn't seen for a while. I don't know this dude technically. Um, though I like his pants. Look at that. I don't know if that's a natural, the color of those pants, or if he had it custom made. That's fancy colors, guys. It looks like super fancy colors. Hold on. Okay. We've still got a loot pill going? No. Okay, we're back to these guys. We're going to kill a few. I'm on Cali. Cali's awesome. It's not my normal place, but I had to bring things back for the um, auction house anyway. We got a little a bit of stuff picked up. I actually, though, at this point, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to need to go back. I didn't realize we were getting so low on those little guns. And they just go faster than you think when you make stuff. I've got multiple dudes trying to kill me here. I don't know why. I like Cali. It has a lot of mobs, including ones I don't even know where they are. Like... That's a good thing to me. That means there's a whole bunch of ability for me to go codex. I really like these guys. And kill floating little mini ships. But you guys see why with the vehicle weapons and stuff it doesn't make sense that they don't have vehicle enemies like that's my issue is that there should be some vehicles that are straight up enemies too like that guy should be able to be engaged by these like they should break off and go for him and I really like those little sky things. Can I tell you the reason I like those sky things is because when I was a kid, I was kind of a fan of the Hobgoblin. I know he's a villain, but he is a cool villain. And so, some villains are cool. But the Hobgoblin used to be way cool. And he had one of those. I know the Green Goblin too, but the Hobgoblin is not the Green Goblin. Different, different one. Similar though, very similar. Yeah, this should be a vehicle mob. Oh, okay, hold on. It, it could be a good time. Let me figure this out real quick. It I didn't look wh what how good the one up on Crystal Palace is. So let me make sure it's a good one. Because I don't want to give you guys junk guns. And if not, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take care of it. We're going to be on for however long it takes to take care of stuff. See, he's armed right there. See this? This would be normally when you, you go after somebody, if they were in PvP zone. And our weapon system is locked right there. He's not in a PvP zone, so he's not take downable anyway. But you see how even on this one, it's a fixed weapon system? And the weapon system on the slip near isn't fixed. And so it actually has an advantage. It's just super a big advantage. If it's a crappy one, it'll take me a second. I can fly to Cyrene. 
I have stuff on Cyrene. I thought I grabbed the right stuff off when we left Cyrene. But it, it's apparent that I literally forgot things that were important there. Um, including I might have even made, uh, left a stack of guns there. But who knows. Because I was technically coming back to sell blueprints, you guys. And so... Um, then all of a sudden, I didn't even realize this whole thing was the whatever, you know, the event going on was going on. If we flew way out this way, by the way, we'd get to an event in which that's where the dropship event is. Yeah, I'm on my way. Honestly, maybe we just order the stuff in. Make some more ones. I don't like often ordering stuff in because it costs like a little bit extra, but over spending an hour flying back and forth, 18 pad or something like that is not going to be the biggest deal. Just going to be honest. Oh, what am I thinking? I for sure have guns up here. I'm used to being on other planets. Holy crap, I have my store up here, guys. There's guns for sure. Okay, hold on. Uh, you ever have that situation where you forget what's going on and what world you're on? Hold on one second. We're going to find stuff. Like, I have a whole display area. I can just pull one from the shelf. Deal with it later. We're going to find one with a good um, tier rate, though. We're not just going to grab a random one. I don't like doing that. I try to get you guys at least ones that are within above 100. Because it's logical to do. Okay, let's check this one. This has a 145 tier rate. This is perfect. Okay, so let's see what else is in here. Uh, you know, I haven't been selling Kismet lasers up off of here very fast lately. I do have one. I'll be right back down in a second. Hold on one second. I kind of want to see if we're missing inventory because I haven't been watching my store as well as I have, should have been lately. Um... Okay, we're missing something that goes right there. Normally there is something here. I don't know what it was. I sold it. Didn't pay attention. Got grenade launchers, grenade launchers. Texture thingies. Okay. I don't know. I'm missing a few things. I'm going to have to restock this too. I don't even know what I'm missing. I'll have to figure that out later on. I kind of didn't keep all the messages on stuff. I'll be able to figure it out though. There's like this um, ledger basically that lets me know how much money was spent and stuff. Super handy. Okay. Oh, we're not beaming down for sure. That's a... Don't be do that. Okay. So we've got a good one. I think I repaired it. I'll check again. Jeez. Sitting here. Maybe I had so much coffee that we're... Yeah, we've got it. Boom. I want to show you guys drop ship hunting. But we're full of stuff right now. And it's not really a good idea to do that. Because I'd have to fly over to the dropship zone. And I can't remember if it's it's a safe uh, zone or not, to be honest. Oh, 
Okay. In course. Man, I hope you guys are having a freaking epically smooth day. You know what I do like making these, though? The Ospens? You get a global every time you craft one, guys. It's just an automatic global. They do not give a crap. It's just like, if you make an Ospen laser rifle, it is an instant swirly. And so you just feel better about making it than any other gun. Like... The other guns are cool, and I've never even got an actual global crafting them, you know, like ped-wise. But I've got so many spiralies that it's freaking awesome off of them. And so it's just a good weapon. Good weapon. It's one of the best blueprints in the game to get long-term for fun. I mean, I know that... It's not one that you make a ton of because it's a permanent gun, so you don't get to dump them out like the little uh, training guns, which I love the training guns. Big fan of the training weapons. But uh, those are permanent, and they uh, global you every time you make one. And they last forever. People use them. Look at this one I have. I use mine still. It's still right here. Mine is is literally 4.25 tier. I'm going to have it tier super fast to 5. At 5th tier, this thing is so freaking epic. Like, I'm able to put damage enhancers, economy enhancers, or whatever I feel like I want to shift it like. And so it just is a super versatile gun. Okay, sorry, I had to grab something real quick and while I was flying. I don't have the timing. So a long time ago, guys, that, that whole flight right there would have been PvP. And literally, somebody would have tried to nail us up trying to land. Like, it hasn't been like that for a while, while. I'm going to fix this dude's ship real quick. I don't know why his ship got tore up like that, but... I don't know what's going on here, but that ship's tore up. Nobody wants their ship all damaged up like that.
Oh, I just realized that my freaking mic was clicked. Sometimes I will sit there and visit with you guys for a while. Mic clicked away. What the crap, right? I said a bunch of stuff. I don't know what it all was. But you guys are amazing was part of it. Oh, I was saying stuff about how we're up on the hilltop being like, this is a firefight. This is a last stand situation when you got everybody up on the hilltop um, doing this kind of crap. That's not your winning. That, that, that's at least we have a good strategic last stand. I could resurrect that dude. Just, oh, Mosby didn't want resurrected. Maybe I should let these guys know they don't have to actually die. I'm willing to resurrect people. Oh, yeah, have a great breakfast, man. There's a lot of slip nears flying over here. They really, we need a slip near combat league, guys. How do we get that? How do we get an official, like, mind dark slip near combat league? I don't freaking totally want to be in one. And not just because I make vehicle weapons and stuff. That's that's a bonus. Well, what did I just take? Combat reflexes? That wasn't what I was trying to take, you guys. I was trying... I don't even know what I was trying to click there. So... Where are these enemies? Oh, there. Hey, thank you for keeping lurking, by the way. I'm trying to watch our thing. We still have a whole crap load of, of blueprints to... Unload from Cyrene. And then I guess we'll be doing some more crafting runs to build back up blueprints. I want to kill that drone coordinator. Oh, I didn't even get to him. Yeah, this is a good mob. I like this event already a lot. Ah, oh, these guys are really pinned up on that. I kind of want to know what everybody's using. Do you kind of? I mean, I don't want to just be like rudely scanning everybody. But I am curious what everybody's wearing. This is some serious good, uh... This is a great codexing thing.
Come on, little aircraft. Yeah, these need to be aircraft killable. You know what? They could raise the level of the aircraft killable ones. So imagine this. Say they had some serious, like, dirigible, like, aircraft carrier drone swarm ship that had all those guys all around it, like, psh, but say they were, like, 80th level and stuff, right? Big ones. And so you actually had to put them down, put them down, like, two dudes in quad wings or slip nears or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Unloading like crazy to take them down. Yeah, I totally want to do that. The vehicle ve on vehicle combat part needs to, to be fixed. Just, it needs upgraded to what its potential is. It just has super big potential. On fire, fire. Oh, with which guns? Oh, with with vehicle weapon guns? No, it, they're 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 totally reasonable. Um, so no, what it is is that only player to player killers use them. And they've they've made it where they won't target a mob right now. It it's the whole problem. Like I could do a strafing run on a pile of mobs, and they will take zero freaking damage. Th like you cannot target uh, vehicle to mob at this point. It's vehicle to human only, like or vehicle to vehicle, in which that's that's not how it should be. It literally shouldn't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Um. In which, and I don't know how they could fix it exactly, but definitely, I should be able to, if I want to do a bombing run on a pile of mobs, and I want to pay the ped for that bombing run, I should be able to to do a, a flyby, Q, 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 and then fly by with a loop pill and collect it, just like in space, you know what I'm saying? But on a planet, vehicle weapons all of a sudden don't work the same. And so, um, it, they're, they're PvP only. In which, that that's actually what I don't agree with. Like, I like the PV part of the game, and I'm not, you know, like, against that. But in all honesty, a door gunner should be able to cover you against mobs. And, and at this point, they can't. Like, they just, they didn't, they didn't integrate the vehicles and the vehicle weapons where they work properly with the rest of the world. They work uh, well with players and with vehicles. But, they should literally be what they are. If you fire a missile into a group of mobs, the damage is the damage. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, air support should be a real thing in this game. Um, I mean, I get it. It's expensive. There should be mobs that are tough enough that you got to come in there with two or three dudes unloading missiles from helicopters to take them out. 
there really should be a couple like enemy fortifications like mob bases that literally put out mobs like vehicle mobs I don't even I, I mean I don't know I there's a bunch of things I think that they should do but much more on the hay aspect of combined arms gameplay I, I just think it would be cooler if you could land a helicopter, the door gunners and everybody could be working, you could clear a zone, you know, big enough to land, and actually play more immersively, but the vehicles totally disconnect from the environment. They're great for PvP, they just suck badly for PvE, and most of this gameplay is environment gameplay. And so, but if they ever fix that, it'll be awesome. But currently they are an amazing way to do PVP. More people are really aggressively doing this event. What are the actual odds of one of those coin thingies that they're they're associating with this thing? Yeah, I'm really liking this event. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do... Yeah. They're, they're kicking the crap out of this, though. People are doing well, it seems like. I mean, this is a lot of people in the event. I don't do a, a ton of events on, on Calypso, so I'm not like the event expert for Calypso. But, um, straight up, this is seeming like a good event. I should do this event every year for sure. This is an every year event, guys. I've now convinced myself of that my, on my own. Because it's robots for one, and you don't get a lot of robot event opportunities, it doesn't seem like in this game. They really like to throw out the mutants. And honestly, so few people are actually highly qualified mutant hunters compared to their animal hunting. That I kind of get that. Same with this robot. Probably actually a real big advantage to, uh, to Entropia. Because these are totally... Uh, not what most people are qualified to hunt. Like I, I, I know some of these guys are probably legit robot hunters. But I don't think most people are. I think most people are animal hunters predominantly. Which is not a big deal because most of the mobs are animals, you know.
Oh, that guy's fancied up. You know, it used to be that you didn't see a lot of painted or textured slip nears. I'm really glad to see so many. That's cool. It used to really bug me that nobody customized their stuff. I don't, I don't even understand that. In a game where that's an option, you'd think everybody would be like, Hey, let me customize my, my stuff. Yeah, I'm really liking these little fighter jets, guys. I think this is getting so dang popular. Look at all the smoke and... Yeah, this is the kind of event you want to be at. Feels more like a war or something, you know. Kill this guy. I don't know what the deal with this coordinator drone guy is, but... Maybe he's in charge. I'm gonna have to heal myself for sure. That that's a Oh, I've got all these one dudes on me now. I don't know what these these drunk coordinators are doing exactly. But I got a crap ton of weapon grips, guys. I was kind of hoping we global there. Because I basically always hope we global. <coughs> I know, all of you also basically always hope you global. I'm not even going to pretend. Everybody is in the same boat. We're all super greedy. I'm just joking. I don't consider it really greedy. I consider it you're super ambitious. This is like the ultimate game for ambitious people, right? Because your ambition becomes this, like, never-ending quest for more and more power and more and more better and better gear. Ambition. The danger. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm going to get us back to um, Athena. The plan is tomorrow I will probably do a... A small crafting run in which then I can be non AFK the whole time and stuff like that and we're gonna hunt more but there'll be two separate streams so that it's not confusing to people or some I don't know why but 
basically because because on YouTube it's easier for it to be two different streams I've noticed that like somehow things don't translate the same okay we're gonna dump all of this stuff over I'm really curious what the crap do I build with robot grips I know I legit use those in robot heat sinks and something but I, I don't actually know what it is. I don't know why I have all that stuff on me. That kind of seems weird. Everybody's fancy dressed anymore. Look at this crap. Girl has some kind of fancy garment there. Dude has some kind of... He just got back from going to the um, Bahamas or something. Look, that dude has a fancy outfit. I don't know what's up with that, but it's fancy. And he looks like he might be from... Maybe a victim of radiation exposure. I don't know. He's not, but you know. Okay, let's see. Just want to see what we it made up where we can make. I like to see what we're able to make based on stuff. You guys, you know what we're gonna do tomorrow? I'm gonna generate a whole bunch of blueprints with a generic leather texture run tomorrow morning after um, we get off Fallout 76. And then in the afternoon, what we'll do is we'll do a uh, a uh, actual like, hey, let's get more of that hunting stuff done. That I absolutely thought was a fun freaking event, you guys. I didn't know about it. I'm very thankful you told me about it. If you wouldn't have, I would be like still not doing it. And I'd be very sad. We didn't get a coin today, but honestly, I think we just kicked some butt. Let me check who all is playing Entropia. I noticed Bella's playing Entropia. I'm not all sure what she's doing. She usually is sweating some Panelians and then doing her dailies. I'm going to click over to her. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I want to thank you very much for hanging out.